Believe it or not, the WNBA and the NBA, they actually have something in common. Well, duh, KC, they're both professional basketball leagues. Uh, that's not what I was talking about. One is a professional basketball league. The other is a waste management company who offers free pooper scoopers when you sign up for weekly service. The commonality I'm talking about is holding back the NBA. It's preventing the NBA from being great. And with the WNBA, it just gives people one more reason to push for their bankruptcy. Our dreams of bankruptcy would come true if Adam Silver would quit donating millions of dollars every year to keep the dump afloat. The commonality or the problem in both of these leagues, it's a complete lack of accountability. We saw the lack of accountability in the NBA on full display Sunday night and the annual disaster that they keep calling the All-Star Game. The lack of accountability in the dump, it's a little bit different. Adam Silver, he refuses to hold NBA players accountable. I was listening to Rich Eisen yesterday and he was talking about Adam Silver being such a nice guy. He's swell. He's a real players commissioner. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. That's why I call him Alice. He is afraid to hold players accountable. In the WNBA, the dump divers, they're refusing to hold themselves accountable. Remember a few years ago, dump divers were blaming the mainstream media for their decades-long streak of huge embarrassing failure? The only reason we fell is because the media ignores us. If the media promoted us, America would fall in love with bearded beauties. <laughs> Yeah, that's just not how it works here in America. It is not the media's job to promote you. It's your job to give the media a reason to promote you. Last month, when OutKick reached out to me for an interview, do you think I was receiving requests like that when I had a thousand subscribers? No. Interview requests didn't start happening until I gave the media a reason to be interested. That's how it works. It's on the players in the WNBA to create the interest. Even though they think it's owed to them, you are not entitled to free media promotion. Another excuse that dump divers often give when asked why their league is a huge embarrassing failure, it's the misogyny. Damn those male birthing persons. They won't give us a chance. They're afraid of equality. They're afraid to see strong women. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have never been afraid of a woman. The only woman that I might be afraid of is the Lizzo, and I'm not really worried about her either because I would have no trouble outrunning the forklift that carries her. Obviously, mythical misogyny is not the reason that the WNBA is a dump. I have never heard Caitlin Clark complain about misogyny. Angel Reese, she's not blaming men. I don't remember Venus and Serena Williams blaming men for their lack of success. You know why those women aren't complaining? They're successful. Maybe, just maybe, if WNBA players stopped complaining about their lack of success and started working hard to build success, maybe people would watch them play pretend basketball. That mentality will never be prevalent in the WNBA if trash collectors keep saying things like what I'm about to show you. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I showed you guys the clip of Michael Porter Jr. accurately explaining why the WNBA sucks? You guys remember that? Michael Porter was destroyed by the mainstream media for telling the truth about the WNBA. Couple of days later, a hazmat waste technician named Lexi Brown, she went on Gilbert Arena's platform here on YouTube to respond to the truth that was delivered by Michael Porter Jr. and explain the real reason why the WNBA is a huge embarrassing failure. Lexi is a pretend basketball player for the LA Sparkles. The same LA Sparkles who were responsible for hosting the immaculate return of Bob Griner last May. For once, the state of California finally got something right. For the immaculate return of Bob Bobby G, the city of Los Angeles welcomed her home by filling their dump to about 45% capacity. There were so many empty bucket seats in the arena, people converted the seats to trash receptacles. A couple of weeks ago, though, Michael Porter suggested that the WNBA should lower the rim. Instead of the standard 10-foot rim, maybe we can lower it to five, maybe even six feet in the WNBA, so these players have a better chance at actually making wide open layups. Lexi Brown, 
She was disgusted by this suggestion. How dare he assume that we want to score points? The W is all about defense. Yeah, um, it's really easy to play defense when no one has the ability to score points. Lexi Brown, she is speaking with Gilbert Arenas and doing what WNBA players do best, complaining. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for Lexi Brown to say something that came close to resembling personal accountability. I wasn't looking for much. Obviously, I wasn't expecting much since I have never seen a victim in the WNBA take responsibility for their own failures. But it would not have taken much, just Something simple like, we need to be better. That's it. That's it. Instead, she blames the years of embarrassing failure in the WNBA on toxic masculinity. Now, she didn't use that exact term, but it was definitely insinuated. Watch for yourself. And I just feel like the way he plays basketball, like, he shoots a lot of threes. I just don't. You don't. He doesn't dunk. He wants us to dunk. You dunk. Like... What are we talking about? It's just, it's a tired conversation. And I'm, I'm very annoyed with men continuing to create these spaces to discuss these things when they don't watch our games, they don't know us, they don't ask us our opinions about anything ever. And like, if you don't have to watch us play, that's fine. But like, for you to just sit there and just constantly shit on our craft, our product and everything without really being tuned in, like, it's just not, it's not right. Y'all always want to talk about us, so might as well watch us, shit. What is the problem? What is the solution? I mean, everyone says the problem is the product. That's not the problem. There's great basketball being played throughout the entire W. Then we're, always, we're either getting compared to NBA, which everyone complains about how NBA is being played right now. So we either get compared to that, or we get compared to the three most marketed women's college basketball games of the entire women's college basketball season. What is the solution? We're getting shit on because our team, our league is so small and so talented. Like, those, outbur like, those outbursts are hard because you have a lot of good players. Yeah. players on your team. Yep. Um, did Lexi Brown just say that Michael Porter doesn't dunk? I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt here. I know most of these dump divers in the WNBA have never seen a real dunk before. The only way WNBA players can dunk a basketball is with the assistance of a trampoline or a ladder. Since Lexi is unfamiliar with dunks, I figured I would educate her by showing a few examples. Oh, look at this right here. Look at this right here. It's Michael Porter posterizing Montrez Harrell. Here is Michael Porter doing this best impersonation of Shaq trying to shatter the backboard. Here he is again, and as you can see in this picture, Michael Porter is doing something that most WNBA players refuse to do. He is representing America with pride instead of representing America with the rainbow pride. I could keep going, but you get the point. Lexi Brown accuses men of shitting on the WNBA without actually watching the league, and here she is trying to criticize Michael Porter claiming that he doesn't dunk when there are hundreds of examples of Michael Porter dunking. Clearly, Lexi Brown does not watch the NBA. She also claimed that she was annoyed with men who constantly criticize the dump. If it wasn't for us, their trash would not be collected on Mondays and Thursdays. We should be appreciated! I do appreciate you, Lexi. Seriously. I have a lot of appreciation for the services the WNBA dump offers. However... I have no appreciation for the pretend basketball the WNBA offers. It sucks. It's painfully boring. I don't know who that dude was that works with Gilbert Arenas on this show, but I want to give him some credit because a lot of times people will have these dump divers on their platform and they refuse to press them for solutions. They'll let WNBA players come on and complain about misogyny and blame men for all their problems, but they never ask mid-level managers like Lexi Brown for solutions. Whoever that dude is, he not only asked her for solutions once, he asked her twice. He asked her the first time, she dodged the question and went on some tangent about toxic masculinity. He asked her the second time and... And I don't remember what the hell she was talking about. I just know she didn't answer the question. Why? Why do you think that is?
Here is your opportunity to solve the problem of failure in the WNBA. Why do you think Lexi Brown dodged the question? Maybe because she knows there is no solution. You want to know what the real problem is in the WNBA? Believe it or not, it's not the substandard, unwatchable product. Now, don't get me wrong. That's part of the problem, but that's not the reason the WNBA isn't mainstream. The WWF put out a garbage product for years and millions of people were still watching. People have been complaining about the NBA, but ratings during the regular season still okay, and the league is constantly generating headlines in the media. You know what the difference is between the WWF, the NBA, and the WNBA? The WWF had stars. The NBA has superstars. I challenge you to name three stars in the WNBA. Outside of Bob Griner, who is the star in the dump? The only reason Bob Griner's famous is because the media turned her into a hero and the ultimate victim because she was caught trying to sneak Grandpa's ganja into Russia for her vacation with Vlad Puder. Seriously, name another star in the WNBA. Well, Casey, what about Kelsey the Plumber? The only time Kelsey is a star is when the toilet is clogged. All kidding aside, Kelsey Plum seems like a nice woman, but... She's not heavily promoted by the WNBA. This league constantly promotes the wrong players. They promote players like Natasha Cloud. They promote Bob Griner. They target the identifiers. Their target audience is Woke United Methodist. Then they sit back and wonder why normal people aren't watching. Believe it or not, There are beautiful women in the WNBA that dudes would find attractive and women could relate to. Problem is, the league is more interested in marketing the Sue Bird and the pink-haired Megan Rapinoe who helps pay the bills in her nest. This country has never supported complainers. America has never been a country that gets behind the victim. America's always supported survivors. Caitlin Clark was playing at Iowa for what? two, maybe even three years, no one knew who the hell she was. Did she complain? Did she pretend to be a victim? Did she blame men for not giving her the attention that she believed she was entitled to? No, no, and no. You know what Caitlin Clark did? You know what Angel Reese did? They created a product that was interesting. They created a product that demanded attention. Me personally, I still think women's college basketball is painfully boring. Game is slower. The skill level isn't the same as what we see with the men. But I'll watch Caitlin Clark. I'll watch Angel Reese. Why? Because they're stars. The product doesn't have to be perfect, but... You have to have stars to be able to generate interest. It's the same thing in the UFC. Watching two dudes beat the shit out of each other, it's boring. Sure, it's exciting the first couple of times you see it, and it's exciting for diehard fans of MMA, but for casual fans like me, watching two dudes fight for no reason, it's boring. When you add storylines, when you have two superstars who hate each other, That's a fight worth paying for. The reason the WNBA sucks is because of the attitude of the players and the complete lack of star players. It's that simple. It's that simple. But give me your thoughts on this. Lexi Brown blames men for the embarrassing failure of the WNBA. She accuses men of shitting on the WNBA without watching it. Then she turns around and criticizes Michael Porter Jr. showing that she doesn't watch the NBA. The hypocrisy is real. (laughs) Is toxic masculinity the reason for the WNBA being a failure? Or is it the attitude of their players and the lack of star power? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.